Hello my friends and uh, welcome to the metal shop driveway. So today I'm going to talk about the uh, WeatherTech side window deflectors a little bit. This won't really be a how-to. WeatherTech actually has an excellent how-to uh, video on YouTube for the installation and <clears throat> um, I want to start by saying that I really love their products. These things are they're by far the best um, the WeatherTech uh, window deflectors are the best on the market. Um, you can see here we are installed. The, I get the in-channel kind. Um, it just looks better. You know, the kind that uses the 3M tape to stick to your window is just it's nowhere near as good, not as clean. And these, this, I mean, look, they look like a factory installed um, option there. Most people don't even know they're on and. I thought these were gimmicky when they first came out, you know, I don't know how many years ago, 10, 15 years ago, it seems like they got wildly popular until I uh, used one of, uh, used a fleet vehicle at uh, my place of employment that had it and how handy is it to be able to roll down your window just a little bit when it's raining out or just to crack it to get that ventilation, again, if it's even if it's parked and it's raining out um, so that the water doesn't get in. Um, so the video today is, although I love WeatherTech's uh, products, you know, their Husky, their liners are great, their uh, all-weather floor mats are great. I think it's a, a USA-made company. I think most of their stuff is made in the USA. These are manufactured in Germany, these uh, vent visors. Um, you can see they come with this handy little tool here. This is supposed to, this is this roughly the size of your window, so you you know, you poke it up in there. Once you install the uh, the deflector, just to create enough space for your window to close. So the idea is you you slip the front end first, making sure that you're on top of the uh, the molding. Then you slip the back end, leaving they say to leave about a half an inch. Leave it down a half an inch so you get a little bit of wiggle room, and then you start working from the front to the back, sliding it up in the channel, okay? So I did that, and this was a few weeks ago. I do the uh, driver's side, goes in slick, no problem. And I've done a bunch of these before, again on fleet vehicles at work. Uh, I did it on my old um, F-150 daily driver here that's now my son's. I did it there. I did it on the... Uh, the Celine S331, which for all intents and purposes is another F-150. I've done other Explorers. Um, so I have experience doing these. Again, so the driver's side goes right in. Now it comes time to do the passenger side, and they show you, they show the WeatherTech on the installation video, they show this thing being bent, the guy bends it like right in half. It's extremely flexible. Um, so I slip the front in, I slip the back in, I start working from front to back, and I get a little I call it a little billy, a little a wave right in this area here that it's it won't go in. It's it's kind of bubbled up here outside of the channel. It will not go in. And I'm gently moving it back and forth. I'm trying to trying to get that in or trying to then I'm trying to remove it now to get this little the little billy out and just kind of start over again. Crack the thing breaks. It splits right in two. So I don't know if the uh if that one was was brittle, if it was just a, a hair too big in the manufacturing process, I'm not sure. So I contact WeatherTech. You know, I've had great experience with them, and I'm like, listen, I've done a bunch of these before. I have experience. This one broke. And I said, and I was honest. I said it broke on the installation. It didn't arrive, you know, broken in the box. I could have lied. I'm sure a lot of people do. And... So immediately they put me off saying, oh, you have to call, you know, who you purchased it from, your point of purchase. And if you've ever worked in customer service, you know, that's wrong. You, you don't do that. You refer the complaint, not the complainant. Meaning, and I bought this from Auto Anything, which is just a giant, one of their giant online retailers. So it's not like, you know, I picked it up at mom and pop, it's car parts. But anyway, so they refer me to the you know, my point of purchase to auto anything, I call them and she, they're very nice and they take my, all my information and they, uh, you know, she's calls, she said, you know, she's going to put it into, to Weather Shield, 
WeatherTech. She's going to put my, you know, my complaint into WeatherTech and, and get me a replacement. Okay. Now, four days go by. You can see I added the Celine valve cover. Celine valve cover. Valve stem covers. It will not focus. There we go. Hi. So four days go by, and it's trash day. So I take the broken piece, put it in the box, out it goes in the trash. Four days after I file the complaint with WeatherTech, or with the Auto Anything. Now seven days go by, and I'm contacted by Auto Anything saying, uh, the warehouse has finally responded, they want pictures. I'm like, really? Really? You need pictures now of the, of the broken product? Yes, because that's, that's a great scam, is to beat WeatherTech out of one half of a you know $55 $60 set of side window deflectors you know to beat them for $30 it probably cost them like five or six bucks to manufacture these things so I get no joy from them and at this point it's ridiculous I'm driving around this thing and you know with just one window deflector on the driver's side so I don't know if I'm ever gonna see anything from WeatherTech I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope I bought another set I actually found them cheaper on Amazon. I want to say it was maybe $55 for the set on Amazon. And, and you know, if they get me another one, then uh, my employer that has, we have um, explorers in the fleet, figure that one out. And they'll get a free set of uh, window deflectors. So great product from WeatherTech. I would highly recommend the product. They, they go in, normally they go in very easily. Great DIY project. It's a, it's a really user-friendly, extremely usable product that has, you know, it does what it says it's going to do and it does it very well. WeatherTech customer service for a USA company, I'm not so impressed. So I'll let you know how I make out with uh, with WeatherTech. Proudly designed in USA, manufactured in Germany. Well, this thing will not focus. I'll let you know if I make out if I ever get the uh, the replacement from WeatherTech. I'm I, again. I'm not uh, not holding my breath. Oh, one other thing. So when you this is a pretty tight fit in here, and when you when you put these in, what you, if you do the automatic up feature with um, your window switch the first time, it's probably going to be too tight and it'll it'll just bounce back down. Well, that's easily. They even I think they, they even tell you this. You can you reach out here with this hand and you just hold this out and then you put your window up and they say to leave it for 12 hours yeah screw that i would leave it 24 hours at a minimum 48 if you could leave your windows up in there so these things kind of will they'll nestle they'll nestle with each other and and become happy you know the your molding and your window deflector and your glass will all become one again and it may still they still kind of click a little bit when they hit this spot here but i imagine after it goes up and down a few times uh, that will be taken care of all right, uh, so kind of a long-winded video for such a short, uh, what should have been a short topic. But uh, as always, I thank you for watching, my friends, and take care out there.